is the Samsung Wave device. This is the first device that has the Super AMOLED screen technology. It also is the first device with the Samsung Bada platform. And we also have a one gigahertz application processor. I'll show you the TouchWiz 3.0 UI. This is the home screen. You have multiple pages. You can also edit your widgets. So you can remove them or you can add new ones. In addition, you can have up to 10 pages. You can add them anywhere you like or you can remove them as well. We also feature a quick start menu. You can quickly turn on your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or mute and also your notifications will be listed here when they're available. This also, because of the one gig processor, allows us to do multitasking. So you could listen to some music while you go in and check your calendar, maybe do some email or IM message, instant messaging. And this is your task manager, so you can see everything that's currently running in the background. You can toggle between the applications here, you can close them one at a time, or you can close them all at once. Another nice function is the multi-touch screen. Works in portrait or landscape. You also can do one-touch zoom. And this device will be launching in April. Size of a camera. Uh, yes, it also has a 5 megapixel camera as well as 720 HD record and playback. Uh, the um, Super AMOLED screen, this is 3.3 and it's the world's first Super AMOLED. It's very bright, it allows the device to be very thin due to the new technology. Outdoor visibility is enhanced because of the minimized distance between the window and the AMOLED because they've now embedded the touch panel on the AMOLED device. It's also 10% more energy efficient due to the new technology in the Super AMOLED. And what does the uh, Samsung battery in terms of the app store? Uh, there will be a Samsung application store. The SDK is being released this month and the application store will be available on the device when it launches in April. So the idea behind Samsung Social Hub is not necessarily to create a new messaging solution, but to leverage the best messaging solutions in the marketplace and combine them with the features of our devices and fully integrate them. There are two main integration points, uh, to, there are two main entry points to get the full integration view. One is through your contact list. So if you look into your contacts, you see that this, u this, uh, this user has a fully integrated contact list with his contacts from Facebook, Twitter, uh, in this case Google as well, etc. So this, this contact list does not only have contacts from your SIM card, but it also has all of your contacts uh, from your social networks that this user has access to. So if I, for example, click on uh, Chris Starr, from this screen, you see all the basic information uh, and you can go ahead and you can start uh, email from here uh, if, if you wanted to. You can, also, um, you can also go ahead and start your IM history. This, if this user was online, this star would be a green dot and you could automatically start, uh, start chatting from here. History shows all of your communication history with this user and there's nothing at this moment. Activities show all the recent postings of this user on, on Facebook. So you can see um, all, the, all the postings that this user has made. And media will show all the media files, whether it's video or photo albums that this user has on Facebook. So that's, that's the contact list. The second um, integration, uh, the second entry point is through messages. So if all you want to do is, is to uh, manage your messages, you can come to this ultimate mailbox from where you can, um, you can see all of your text messages, which is first one. 
then you can see all of your email messages as well as your Twitter and, and um, uh, Facebook messages all in one place. The idea again being that all of you can manage all of your uh, all of your messages from one place. So if I click on Facebook, I can see all of my Facebook. Uh, uh, if I click on email, I can see all of my email messages in one place, and I can manage uh, my all of my communications from here. Um, same idea goes for calendar. It's also fully integrated with entries from all the portals that the user has access to. Um, it seems like there's nothing for this day, but um, uh, I'm trying to find one where we have actually some some entry. Um, there's entry here, but we can't really tell. So the, again, the idea is the same here. Um, that all of your all of your entries are in one place, and you can make changes and automatically synchronize with all the portals. Um, and lastly, I'll just really quickly show you the setup because it's it's quite easy for the user to um, do the setup. So this this one uh, user is set up to have access to Twitter and Facebook. However, it's very easy to add additional portals. You just click here, and then you can select the additional portals or individual properties of those portals. Uh, so, for example, if you see on Facebook, which has already been set up, this, this person wants to synchronize all of their contact and calendar on a regular basis. It's a push-enable technology, so all changes to contacts and calendar are automatically synchronized with, um, with the device. So that's uh, Social Hub. <laughs>
I tend to like the flowers a lot because of the brilliant colors and you can really see how brilliant the display is here. Um, so because of the processor, you get great performance and great resolution and you can see on the gaming as well that you've looked at that um, just the responsiveness of the phone is incredible and in what you see on the display. As well, um, the phone has a five megapixel camera. So I'm going in now and I'm gonna look at different images that have been taken with the camera. And you'll see it's not so sharp when you bring it up and then the resolution gets very crisp. And I can take and touch and then expand or make smaller um, the image on the screen. But as you can see, the resolution is it's just magnificent. Um, it also has an analog TV out in quarter, so you can um, hook this up with your television if you want and then play back on your TV as well.